Las Montañas. Head out to uh, North Cascades. It's 147 right now. I still have probably two hours at least to get to the trailhead. It's gonna be a fun trip. I'm looking forward to it. These mountains though. Canyon Creek Trailhead. It's about four o'clock on the dot. I gotta get going. And I'm out here with my pack I made, tent I made, balloon pants that I made. <sighs> that was really tough. <laughs> so it's six. I'll try to crank really hard now that I'm out of the straight up hill section. I'm hoping to get come to like a clearing here. I can see some views. It's six, but it's cold. that autumn is here. So beautiful. Just ran into a dude in all camo and orange. <laughs> Mule deer and bear hunting season out here. I'm in the Poseidon technically. This is why you climb. Quick note here, tidbit about uh, hiking in rain jackets and wind pants. If you're hiking hard to stay warm, you're gonna sweat through your layer but it's gonna keep you warmer. That's why you do it. Right now it's probably 40. It's cold, it's like really cold. Um, and I'm working hard, but if I didn't have this jacket on, even though it's like caked to me right now, I'd be so cold. The goal is stay warm while you're hiking at the cost of a little bit of discomfort, and then in camp, take the appropriate amount of time if you can, try your stuff off, and then if you're really cold, wear it. And tonight, I certainly will. I'm so stuck right now. Okay, it's gonna be 20 tonight. I'm a little underprepared. <laughs> YOLO. I do have a 20 degree bag and enough clothes, but it could be cold tonight. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Good night. So, I'm looking at the stars, and you guys can't see it, but it's insane. The stars are insane. <sighs> it was cold last night, but I was okay. I wasn't even like uncomfortable. I even took my rain, my wind pants off and my rain jacket off and then probably around four, I put the rain jacket back on and it gets really cold. Like when I woke up in the middle of the night, just eating something and that did a lot for sleep. And um, yeah, you know, people have been posting a lot about how these uh, enlightened equipment bags aren't rated correctly, but I have a 20 degree bag and it kept me really comfortable. It was definitely 20 degrees last night. Uh, it was really cold here, and um, it's nice to know that you're safe. I'm gonna throw together some warm water on Esbit and uh, rally, get out of bed, make some coffee. <sighs> it's so cold. Little Esbit vibes. Oh my god, so cold. Here's the tent that I made. Wind's coming from this way. And uh, you can see the seam sealant. It looks like it's frozen. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's really highly pitched. But on the inside, it's tons of room, tons of headspace. It's really comfortable, works well. My quilt set up. Here's my homemade bag. Permit. Eight inch pad, Neo Air E quilt, food. Let's go on the side. On top of a poly cryo, some socks, and just my miscellaneous stuff. And pillow. I'm gonna throw that quilt back on. I'm so cold. Oh my god. Okay. So it's still 30s. Wearing shorts, by the way. Frost. And uh, yeah, fill up some water and fill up all the way, I guess, actually, and then get gone. Oh, and out there in the distance, some mountains right there. <laughs> I think it's when I'm solo that this feels a lot crazier. Whatever. I'm totally fine. <sighs> Nice <sighs> pants. Ha. 
who needs pants when you have ultralight? So, uh, didn't see that in the morning yesterday. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah, it's getting good now. It was too dark coming in to see those. And I was hiking in through there. But behind me is another range too. Look at what I'm hiking in through. Yeah. Oh my god. So I'm thinking about a two person. I have these tent poles that I got from Quest. They're carbon fiber and they're super awesome. I can't believe no one in the community is using these. Oh shit. I'm going straight down. That is parallel to the ground. This is super sketch, it sucks. I'm going down this and it's just super steep and shelly and just straight fucking down. It was really just this like section right here that was really steep with zero lip, straight down. You can see the angle. So uh, yeah, that's what I just climbed out of. Taking a break, uh, a pretty scenic location. <laughs> on the top collar, I have a Hyper D fabric with this printed on it, it's kind of fun. Grabbed it, a uh, half inch, excuse me, um, closure there and then a cinch top at the top. Fill my stuff, including my tarp and etc. cetera. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just kind of like a Palante clone. Uh, the outside is light skin. There's a lycra, big lycra mesh pocket in the front and a bottom pocket with a small little trash uh, compartment there. And that wraps up the front of the pack. And then I have some Cordura, 330D Cordura on the sides. The back and bottom and beginning of the front is VX21, it's really thick. Um, X-Pack, some shoulder pockets, uh, a small one for sunglasses, and a large one for my phone, and uh, no sternum strap, don't really care for them that much, 3 8 inch foam in the middle, uh, this is uh, X-Pack VX7, and spacer mesh 8th inch. This thing is... Perfect. It's working amazingly. And um, it weighs 10 and a half ounces. <laughs> it's still really cold. It's 10. Yeah, I did make it like, mm, I don't know, four miles, three miles towards Devil Pass, and it just was kind of boring. These views aren't going to be as pretty, so I'm going to pop up here. I'll get to see the whole range behind me. Just chill there. That's the shaley craziness. Getting closer. Look, I'm up here, no more trees left. I'm gonna stop at that zig. So my next stop is about halfway up. So I did the first, let's call it half. Done with that half. So now of the whole section I have left, I have one more half to go. If anyone goes hiking, they might understand my logic here. Okay, now that rock patch up there. Getting there. Made it. Headed right there, really close. There's our zigzags. Someone's behind me. Neat. So here is where I am going to hang out. On the left here is Jack Mountain. 
And you can actually see this line here it means that this is actually significantly farther in front and that back mountain I'm sorry <laughs> that's crater mountain and this back mountain is jack mountain and it's actually significantly higher it doesn't really look like it but it really is pretty insane and then all these different snow capped mountains in the back range there. And I don't know if you can make it out. Some more snow capped mountains way back there, too. Pretty crazy. What a spot. Holy smokes. It's orange to red. Yellow. It's so fun to be able to explore on foot enough area. You can see geographic changes, changes in the environment, and then also to do it over a season, in three seasons, so you can experience that with an axis complexity. I like to do the same hike in a different season, and I find that's often really rewarding and super cool. I, uh, I was just sitting over here for a bit, like maybe an hour, just soaking this up. Just so I'm out here really feeling grateful. Hey dear. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Yeah, you. I gotta go. Beautiful. So I'm thinking about a two person. I have these tent poles that I got from Quest. They're carbon fiber and they're super awesome. I can't believe no one in the community is using these. So, already I'm gonna be adding them as load lifters for a sub one pound backpack meant for uh, winter so they're gonna act as the frame and then last night I used them for my tarp here see that rubber band I use to keep them tight and secured and I also use that to keep my battery together which is a whole other video as well so here's the design that I'm thinking of it's gonna be kind of like two tent poles. I can't do this correctly. One and one here. And then people are gonna sleep this way in the middle, going feet and heads back and forth. The tent poles are gonna to correspond to our shoulders. And then forward to where our feet are, there are gonna be two tie outs, external tie outs on the tarp that are gonna to lift to give legs room. So, it's gonna look like from the side, head to foot. Let's see if I can do this correctly. The head part is gonna go like straight up, and then it's gonna go teeter down, and then there's gonna be a tie up point that's gonna go off with a rope and then drop down pretty quickly. So there's gonna be two poles here that are wide and four apex points. Poles one, pole two, and then feet one and feet two. And that way I can still only bring the sub three ounce trek uh, tent poles <laughs> and it does require setting up against a tree but out in the woods and in the mountains you tend to see those a lot for me in the context that I'm going out to have a two-person tent like that that is really light we're talking roomy with room in the right places where your head is and um, holding two people with the whole thing being probably I want to say a, definitely under a pound and a half and that's not using Cuban um, that's just using some really light so poly that's pretty nuts so I'll probably build that and see that would not be good for winter that design because it's too flat that's the idea just thinking about stuff I think that would be a really really smart way to save weight and add a lot of utility. 
Oh my god. <sighs> Utility. <sighs> oh shit.